We're counting down to uh, Nigeria hosting the World Para Powerlifting Championship in January next year. Now, look, if there are 10 medals at a Para Powerlifting Championship and Nigeria is competing, they are coming back with nine. Nigerian athletes are coming back with nine. And that one silver, we go to Nigeria because they will be at the final. So, Alfred, these para, para lifters, they've been such a blessing to us over the years. And it's beautiful to see Nigeria put together uh, a world championship. I mean, the international para, uh, para, para lifting would have thought that the headquarters of um, the event of, you know, para, uh, para, para lifting should be in Nigeria. Because <laughs> of the quantity and quality of athletes that come from Nigeria for mm. this sport. Mm. I mean, when it comes to being the poster athletes of um, uh, the poster athletes of this event, it can't come bigger than it can't come bigger than uh, na, you know uh, uh, Nigerians. Uh, Coach uh, Fisher and 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 his athletes have uh, over the years. It's not the first such time. a delight. Uh, such a delight to mm. what they've been able to do. I know. And a couple of occasions, I mean, the sportsman of the year coming from a sport like uh, Nigeria Sports Fund. I'm talking about Nigeria Sports Award coming from sports like um, para powerlifting. Yakubu. Over the years, over the mm. years, these guys have distinguished themselves, and so they need all the support they can get. Yeah. And on the basis of what we've seen with the special egos, um, our amputee national team that went to, what really galvanizing support have been able to do? Yeah. I mean, this is another project that they we went have there, and it's not about just winning, winning, winning. It's not winning. about just winning. The fact that they could go there. They made their debut, and mm. they won a game. Yeah. Even at that, we yes, we want to emphasize it's not about winning, it's not about going for, but it's on record that they didn't lose three games. They yeah. won at least one game. I mean, it's an achievement for whatever you like, whatever for whatever it is worth, for whatever it is worth, we would have to build on the success they achieved, and so that's why we really need to support these uh, para power lifters. They've done it around the world. The last time they went to Mexico, uh, they did it. They were celebrated. This time around, this is an opportunity for other athletes to come to Nigeria to come and see what, you know, the caliber of athletes that we have and how well these athletes that's right. are done. That's and what so they are saying. The, the, the world I'm saying, let's come to Nigeria and see what it is that they are doing. I had a contact Coach Are here the other night. I said, look, it's their determination to succeed. And many things have happened in their life and after they have said, look, they cannot give up. Look at Paul Kende, for instance. And it's been such a blessing to himself and his family. Look, if not for maybe like powerlifting, some of them will be, will be begging. They'll be in the streets begging. There will be a source of, oh, uh, help me. These, but sports, with sports, they've been empowered. And that's why we must keep supporting them. And, and that's why um, it, it goes on all of us, government, private sector. Uh, I mean, wherever, anybody that can really do anything to support these guys, please, this mm. is the time that they need it. Mm. Um, they, they've done us proud. And I think... What uh, this logo, beautiful, 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 uh, beautiful mm. logo, you no, know, to support these athletes. So they, they just need all the support that they can get now. Like you mentioned, if there are ten gold medals, be sure that Nigeria they are bringing back nine. And yeah. Nigeria will win the. And win the silver medal. <laughs> okay, let's go. Uh, that's the unveiling ceremony uh, that took place right here in Lagos. The Minister for Youth and Sports was there by Sir Solomon Darong. That's the Chairman Lagos State Sports Commission, uh, Dr. Kweku Tando. Let's go and listen to the Minister for Youth and Sports. He's been um, making comments after the unveiling ceremony in Lagos. Lagos State has graciously agreed to host and uh, provide most of the things we need, transportation and accommodation. The federal government will be providing the training equipment. Some of the private sector or investors that were here today had promised to argument one thing or the other. So on the overall, it was a huge success because most of what we required for the competition had basically been addressed. About the readiness, I don't think it's something strange to us. We have held so many international competitions in Nigeria, especially Lagos. Lagos has been hosting as far back as since after independence. And Lagos is a sport city. So as for preparation, Lagos can host the world anytime and any day.
Come back. So that's the Minister for Youth and Sport, Barrister Solomon Dalong. It will be good to have uh, the word para power lifting. Alfred, we know funding is an issue, uh, but let's just see if everybody will come together. The ministries are where Lagos State they are hosting. Um, hopefully, we're just going to get this competition uh, on the way for the para power lifters. You guys are making, uh, you guys are sending us messages as regards that. We know these special athletes, they are special. They are always, always delivering. So we're glad that the unveiling of the logo and the mascot has been done the minister was present so uh let's see what he will go back now and do because we're still expecting those equipments to come to lagos for the championship let's go on this quick break when we come back what's going on we still have to talk more on the para powerlifting championship and of course the english premier league so don't go anywhere stay with us <laughs>